To use the social pop-up, make sure you're in the forms area and in the promotions tab. Once you're here, just click create promotion. Give your promotion a name and click save and continue. Now find the social pop-up template, which is here and click select. And here we go. The first thing you can choose is the form type. Do you want it just to be a normal pop-up that pops up in the middle or do you want it to pop up in the bottom right corner? You can change the corners here, additional settings, and you can click left if you want. You can also have a bar on the bottom by clicking here and you can also have it show on the top by clicking here. But for now, let's just go to the normal pop-up we see here and let's look at the design settings. Here you can change the background image, the close button and the hover color is right over here and the title is here. This is the let's connect part and the text part is right over here. The custom button settings only works if you set this button to custom. For now it's set to Facebook. So these settings will not work until you change that button into a custom button. And let's see how to do that. You want to first click this part of the pop-up or click this button here to edit all these elements. And here again, you can link your logo to your website if you want by putting the URL here. You can change the title here and the text here. You can add a link if you want. I like to open link in new tab and click insert. And here we have a clickable link now. And here are the social buttons. You can choose Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, or you can go with social button and then click custom button. And then you can change all the colors by clicking save and going to these custom button settings. Let's just look at how this will change. Once I look at the different colors here, you can see the colors of changing here. Once you chose your color, just click save and you're done with that. Of course, if you don't like the color, if you just want to use the standard Facebook one, you can just go back and undo what you did by using these undo buttons here. And there we go, like us on Facebook. And of course, here is the link you use for your Facebook page. And you can change the text on the button right over here. You can count this as conversions and that will show up in your stats. Once you're finished, just click save and next. And here are the behavior settings. You can have the pop-up wait a certain amount of seconds before it shows up once a visitor visits that specific website, your specific website. You can show the pop-up once your visitor scrolls to a certain part of your page, or you can show it before a person leaves the website and is moving their mouse towards another tab in their browser. Of course, this is not disruptive. It will allow the person to close the tab with your website on it. The frequency means that if a person, for example, visits your website today, the pop-up will show and it will only show after he or she visits the website one more time after a month. And of course, you can change the frequencies here to days, weeks, or always show. You can have the pop-up show at a specific time, probably with the social pop-up, you're not going to be using this too often because you will probably want to be promoting your uh, Facebook page all the time. So this is not a big issue. But just in case you have this, you can close the pop-up on a certain date if you want. You can also use the visibility settings here. You can always show on every page. You can hide on specific pages on your website or only show on specific pages. Hide on desktop, mobile devices or tablet devices if you'd like. And once you're done with these settings, just click save and continue. And there we go. Just use this code on your website. Of course, if you already installed one of these codes, one of these Mailer Lite codes on your website, you will not have to add this again and again. You just need to add it once and it will work for all the pop-ups you create in Mailer Lite. If you have a WordPress site, just use the WordPress plugin here. If you have Shopify, just use the Shopify app right over here. Once you're done with this, just click next. And here we go. Here's how you turn on your pop-up by using this button here. Now it's active. You can change the design settings here, 
the behavior settings here. And here is the code I just talked about. You can also have the pop up show once a person clicks a link in your text or an image in your article. Just follow the instructions here and you should be ready to go. And that's it. Later on, if you go to stats, you can start looking how your pop up is doing the conversion rate, the impressions and the conversions. Of course, if you check mark that little checkbox I talked about earlier on. That's it for the social pop up. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe. Use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.